Hey everybody, Ann here, sitting inside the tiny house this morning because it's cold and it's rainy, but I am having my coffee, nice warm coffee. It's going to rain for hours. I did do a little bit of work on the pond though, I'm going to show you that in a second, and I may end up showing you what I'm going to do with all that dog hair. It stopped raining for just a little bit, so I made a ham and egg frittata for me. Basically, I gave a little bit to Papa. But the rest is going to the chickens because they're going to love me for it. Whoops. <laughs> they love this stuff. Yeah, the ham's not that great for them. A little bit of salt in there, but I didn't add any salt when I cooked it. Look at that. They're going crazy. You get yourself some too, Roxy. Don't let those leghorns bully you. All right, so who do we got out here? We got three and three. That means, hopefully, we've got six eggs. One, two, three, four. That's weird. The leghorns usually lay in the other box. Five, six. Hooray. Look at those cute baby chickens. Sorry, I'm moving around. I'm bending over and filming at the same time. It's kind of hard to do. Look at that one with all that pretty curling. Look at the rest of them. They're all just kind of chilling out over there, probably because it's a little bit chilly today. But they got plenty of feathers, and I kicked the heating mat on in there in case they want to go back in there. Sweet little chickens. They're getting so big. Looks like as far as size, Miss Pris has caught up. I think the egg, the brown egg on the right is Roxy's. I think the top brown egg is... I don't know. I can't tell. Can't tell the difference now. Since they're not going to free range today, because it's just going to be too wet, I'm going to go ahead and throw this. Oh, I need to open that door. I'll throw it in through here. I'm just going to give them a combination of herbs. There's some, well, there's some spinach. There's rosemary, oregano, some thyme, some lemon balm, and some peppermint. So I'm just going to throw it all in here so it doesn't get all wet and soggy. They can go get it. And here is the hole. I dug it a little bit deeper and a little bit wider, kind of closer to the the hill over there. I'm definitely that whole area. You see the the like the little pond area. Then you see an area back there that's had the top layer of mud dug off of it. That's all gonna go down deep. And then I'm gonna leave that tall grass there. I'm gonna leave that fern there, and I'm gonna bring it back this way a little bit. And I've just been adding the soil to kind of like this area to build it up a little bit and it's not full enough now to start draining but I hope it does rain a little bit more so that I can kind of see how it works and where it's overflowing in the pond and whatnot so I don't know what do you guys think you know what that means don't you papa come on you want to go for a ride you can get my seat all muddy that's okay I got my camels on <laughs> come on big boy that's a good boy. Ah, ah, ah. No jumping. No jumping. No jumping. He does this little chop chop thing with his teeth when he gets excited. He's so cute. Come on, Papa. Let's go. Ready to get up in the truck? Oh, I know what I can do. See, look at He's already got his paws. Ah, just go. I don't care. <laughs> Maybe I spoke too soon. All right, big boy. Come on. Move over. Okay, I just started up, and can you hear that sound? Does this truck have a timing chain? I mean, don't all vehicles? <sighs> Weird. I got a notification that something's waiting for me at the post office, so I'm gonna go pick it up. I gotta get some stuff for my bug bites because this uh, calamine lotion just isn't pulling it off. Hey, Papa. Look at you. Anyhow, and uh, I want to see if I can buy a little, uh, find a little net for the chickens so I can catch them. And uh, yeah, just do a few errands in town. Hey, going to town, you can tell by the look on my face, can't you? Look at this boy. Can you see him? He thinks he's king of the truck. <laughs> and pretty soon, the queen of the truck, Miss Judy's going to be back and she'll be riding with us too. Speaking of Judy, I wanted to share some photos that Miss Donna B sent. There is Judy in her backyard. There's Judy snuggling up in her blankie and her little stuffed donut. Oh my gosh, so cute. And there's Judy playing with another toy. Oh, I bet she, she's been having a grand time. 
I gotta tell you guys, even though I don't like going into town, it is a pretty, pretty drive into town this time of the year. Lots of green. I'm at the post office. I'm gonna go ahead and just open these right now. open the card and Miss Margaret, Margaret Heathcote told me that she was sending me something but look at this. Well first of all it's just me. Whoops. Oh a little something something fell out of the bottom of it. Thank you. Oops I need to look over there. To a great lady. Enjoy your day Miss Ann. You rock. Give all the animals a big kiss from me. Love you Maggie and Minnie Heathcote. Itching to wish you a happy Mother's Day. I got a Mother's Day card. Oh, you guys, you are awesome. Thank you for the little contribution on the inside as well. And she told me that she was going to be sending me some more of those drink mix thingies. So, yep, she did. Okay, let's let's look. Meal Energy, it's got, it says caffeine and B vitamins, tropical infusion. That would have been one of my choices. Meal vitamins, orange vanilla. The more of the orange vanilla, no caffeine, just the B vitamins and whatnot. And whatnot. I said it again. Uh, Meal energy caffeine, uh, a Kai Berry Storm. Another one that I would, in fact, in fact, I think I put that on my list. And then one more. Another one of orange vanilla. I love these. I love the drink mixes. I usually get the, the little single serving ones and the little tubes that you like open up and whatnot. But these are better because it's just one container. It's more, I don't know what, you, you could call it sustainable maybe. You're not as much trash and whatnot. It's just one bottle. You do one spurt. Oh, this is wonderful. I really appreciate it, Matt. Uh, Margaret, I can't talk. I'm excited. These are going to be delicious. And the ones with caffeine, you know what? I may be able to replace my coffee in the morning. Coffee gives me acid reflux, so this might do the trick. Thank you, lady. Thank you so very much. I'm going to the dollar store, Miss Margaret. Yep, I'm going right now. I got a pool noodle. This is going to be used for an unconventional project that may or may not involve dog hair. <laughs> Big, long skewers to make s'mores over my fire pit when my family comes. Two little bug nets, as suggested by somebody in the comments section to wrangle my chickens. I decided to get two so I could kind of like double tag team them with it. Yep, two. Look at these big containers. Yep, two of these. I'm gonna plant in them. Hydrocortisone cream for all my bug bites. Witch hazel. I have been wanting to get this. This is gonna be part of another project. And little tiny bottles that are gonna be part of the witch hazel project as well. Yep, there's a big project coming and it's gonna involve vodka, but you don't drink it. I wouldn't believe it myself if I weren't looking at it myself. The sun came out. Look at that, plenty of solar, plenty of sun on my plants. What? is going on over here. I had some bird feet in there. Oh my gosh, it sprouted. Look at, I have a microgreen garden going in my little birdhouse. Isn't that something? Well, hello chickens. You coming home? Hey babies. <laughs> I need to open that gate for them. And they go out free ranging and they get up over the hill because I have not finished the fencing over there yet. I just take this down and I'll leave it down for them. Give them the option to go in if they want to. If they don't want to. Huh. Oh, we almost just saw something over there that alarmed him. Look at how pretty he is. Thank you so much for the beautiful Mother's Day gift, Margaret. That just, it brightened my day and I just got to go to the Dollar Tree and shop. That was awesome. I got some things that I wanted to get, I needed to get, and so I went ahead and picked them up. So thank you very much. I'd also like to wish all the other mothers out there a happy Mother's Day. I hope this day is special for you. And to my own mom, happy Mother's Day, mom. I know I was a handful having to raise, you know, this weirdo kid, <laughs> but I love you and I hope your day is very, very special. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video.
thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.